Sandland, the land of sand. Once upon a time, this is how it starts when I tell my daughter a fairy tale, and uh, this, how, this is how a fragrance of, from Kenzo, the Japanese, great Japanese designer Kenzo was called in 2010, fragrantic pair, male, female, this is the male version, Kenzo once upon a time, you can only see on the label Kenzo Om, um, the bottle has this nice label throughout the bottle, uh, it's a round shaped bottle, great sprayer, and fantastic smell, what else do you need, thanks very much, that was the review, take care, nah, just joking, um, so, once upon a time, that's the name of the fragrance. The year, as I mentioned, 2010, and the two perfumiers, Christine Nagel, the great Christine Nagel, and Benoît Lapuza, who have been working on Azzaro traveling, for example. An interesting aspect on that, Azzaro travel, traveling is a very exotic smelling fragrance, just like this. The difference here, it smells like somehow the the vibe of the Far East, like a fairy tale from the Far East, Japan. Um, it's simple, playful, easygoing, pure, uh, joyful, uplifting, energizing. It achieves that through a great start with ginger and nutmeg, coriander, and then at the later stage of the dry down, vetiver, giving it a nice woody base. 2010 was the year, as I mentioned, uh, there was not much hype going on about this, this fragrance. Interesting because Nagel is the world star uh, in, 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 in perfume history. Um, and the fragrance is fantastic, the quality is great. Uh, performance lasts throughout the day for me with five, six, sorry, five, six players. It really is something that is around you wraps you in, puts you in a good mood, um, feels like a, almost like a second skin. It's aromatic, spicy, fresh, spicy, soft, woody, um, and it smells really exotic in a Japanese way. That's really how I would describe this fragrance. Quite gender -like. it's a bit, part, a bit, obviously, it's being marketed towards the male audience, so it's, it's more of a male fragrance, but it's very pure, very natural smelling due to the due to this fantastic combination. And, and, and ginger, nutmeg, coriander, and vetiver are quite uh, normal notes, right? Yet they are blended in a way that makes this somehow smell exotic and, and absolutely unusual. It makes, smells unusual. Um, in terms of age, I would say really um, it's quite ageless. You know, it's probably a little bit youthful. So um, maybe guys in their 30s and 20s and even teens could wear this rather than somebody in the 50s, 60s. Yet, I'm in my mid-40s. I like to wear this just to boost my energy levels, just to feel uh, funky, you know, and special because it gives me this unusual kind of aroma um, that this blend is coming across with. Um, and since it's such a great long-lasting fragrance, it really... Um, provides you with this aura throughout the entire day. I like to reapply because the fresh start with the ginger and nutmeg combo is very nice, very uplifting, very energizing. Uh, and it's, well, can, it's a great Kenzo. Kenzo has been coming out with loads of great fragrances. Kenzo Om, or Kenzo Pour Om, Kenzo Jungle, uh, you name it, Lopar Kenzo and all those, those fantastic fragrances. And, and this is somehow, somehow forgotten, I feel. It's still available here and there. It's quite cheap. Uh, this is a hundred mil, and uh, you know I I don't know why it's not more popular, um, because I really like it. Maybe it's it's not the typical usual freshy or typical usual woody or typical usual sweet. It's somehow the combination of all of them without being typical. And but you know I love these hidden gems. I really do, um, and I'm happy that it's still around. And I use it uh, mostly for daytime. During the working day, actually, it's great in meetings. Great if you're just, you know, traveling as well, because it's really a, a, a mood booster and energizer, and puts you in this somehow exotic feeling uh, that makes you feel special throughout the day. So, it totally works for me. I got it as a gift from my great French Joel. Thanks very much again, and. Um, keep using it with great pleasure in warm weather, cold weather, day and night, um, 
whatever time of the year because it's just so uplifting so fresh aromatic spicy and far eastern japanese exotic smelling you know that's, that's all i can say and again very interesting aspect that nagel and lapuza have been working on uh, as i were traveling which which was a very nice coconutty exotic uh, feeling fragrance and this is a far eastern japanese type of exotic fragrance so if they if those two come together they really do some nice exotic stuff once upon a time nagel and lapuza sat down in the lab and thought to themselves let's make a nice exotic japanese type of kenzo fragrance and they succeeded thanks very much that was chris with another fragrance review and uh, and i'll be back once upon a time from kenzo pour homme for today and next time surprise take care and bye bye Once upon a time, 